this video on search, we're going to look at how to add search. So let's have a look at how to add search. So if you had root 3 plus root 3, you're going to have two lots of root 3. So that's going to be equal to 2 root 3. Okay. Next one, root 3 plus root 7. You can't add these because they're different search. You've got root 3 and a root 7. You can't add them together. So that one you can't add. Next one, if you've got 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5, that's 2 lots of root 5 plus 4 lots of root 5, so all together you're going to have 6 lots of root 5. So if you notice, we can add thirds as long as they've got the same number under the square root sign. So if you've got root 3 plus root 3, it's 2 lots of root 3, or 2 root 3. Uh, 4 root 5, or 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5 is 6 root 5. However, you can't add them whenever they've got different uh, numbers under the thirds. However, this one down here, root 20 plus root 80, you can add these. And you've got to simplify them first of all. So watch the other video on thirds to see how to simplify them. And then we're going to do this one now as an example. Okay, so we've got root 20 plus root 80. So let's simplify our root 20 first of all. So remember whenever we want to simplify surge, we want to split it into two different surge or two different surge or two different roots, uh, one, uh, with one of them being a square number, the highest square number possible. So the highest square number that you can divide 20 by, well let's just jot down square numbers, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. The largest square number you can divide 20 by is 4. So you're going to get this, it's going to be equal to, well, I suppose root 4 times root 5 would be root 20. So root 20 is root 4 times root 5. Okay? Plus 80. Well, the largest square number that goes into 80, well, if I just carry on, 36, 49, is going to be 16. If you do 16 times 5, it's 80. So root 16 times root 5 would be root 80. So root 80 is root 16 times root 5. So we've got root 20 is root 4 times root 5. And root 80 is root 18 times root 5. Now remember the benefit of writing it as a square number means you can square root it. So the square root of root 4, or square root of 4 is going to be 2 and then root 5 plus the square root of 16 is 4. So that's going to be 4 root 5. So we've got 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5. So 2 lots of root 5 plus 4 lots of root 5 altogether would be 6 lots of root 5. So if you wanted to add together root 80 and root 20, it would be 6 root 5. Let's uh, try subtraction now. So it's very similar, so it's actually the same except for the last step. Uh, so we've got 3 root 2, well, that's a simplified third already, and root 8. So root 8 we want to try and simplify. So root 8, largest square number that we can divide 8 by is going to be 4. So that's going to be 3 root 2 subtract. Root 8 is going to be root 4 times root 2. So root 4 times root 2. The square root of 4 is 2, so we're going to get 3 root 2 subtract 2 root root 2 and 3 root 2 is 3 lots of root 2 take away 2 lots of root 2 will be 1 lot of root 2 or I suppose just root 2 you don't need to write 1 root 2 it's just root 2 okay yeah, this time we're going to do root 63 plus 2 root 28 so let's simplify both of these thirds if you notice root 63 you can simplify it root 28 actually you can simplify as well because a square number does go into this you can divide 28 by a square number so let's do this so root 63 well the largest square number that goes into 63 will be 9 so this is going to be root 9 times well 9 times 7 is 63 so root 9 times root 7 okay so that's what root 63 is plus I'm going to put 2 in brackets and then I'm going to simplify my root 28 so root 28 if I simplified that the largest square number that goes into it would be um, 4 so you're going to get root 4 times root 7 it's quite nice that at this point you can just see that you've got your root 7 so you're going to get the same third that you can then uh, add up the lots of so uh, square root of 9 is 3 so you're going to get 3 root 7 plus 2 bracket the square root of 4 is 2 root 7 so we've got 3 root 7 plus, well, 2 times 2 root 7. Well, you multiply the numbers there, so you're going to get 2 times 2 is 4 root 7. And 3 root 7s plus 4 root 7s would be 7 root 7s. This time we're going to do root 27 plus 3 root 48 plus root 75. So let's simplify each of these. So the largest square number that goes into 27 is 9. So you're going to get root 9 times root 3 plus uh, 3 brackets. The largest square number that goes into 48 is 16, so it's going to be root 16 times root 3, because 16 times 3 is 48, plus, and the largest square number that goes into 75 is 25, so it's going to be root 25 times root 3. So the square root of 9 is 3, so this is 3 root 3, 
plus 3 bracket. The square root of 16 is 4, so that's going to be 4 root 3. Plus, and the square root of 25 is 5, so this is 5 root 3. So we're going to multiply this term. So we're going to get 3 root 3 plus 12 root 3. 3 times 4 lots of root 3 would be 12 lots of root 3 plus 5 root 3. And then you just add them up. So you've got 3 root 3s plus 12 root 3s plus 5 root 3s. So this could be 3, 15, 20 root 3.